to see a thatched cottage in the middle of a busy town. I would imagine it was a gatehouse to the farm. And I'm so glad that they left it thatched. The only thatched building in Croydon. Welcome to Crafty Clusters, an open collab organised by Susan Hiles Art. <laughs> of course it's started to drizzle again. <laughs> Beautiful little morning dew cobwebs. Okay, Freddie, let's go. Like green in the woods because we had a lot of rain in August. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Very peaceful, isn't it, Freddie? And beautiful colours as well. I love them. This is just inspiring for us, isn't it, Freddie? I love the way the tree roots make little steps for us too. <laughs> I have to be careful not to trip up. <laughs> Bracken. The ferns are a beautiful colour. So, this stamp here comes from India, so I'm going to pair that with some Indian fabric. Here we are, I've got some, I've got some here. And I've got some African fabric too, because I have a postage stamp. If I can find it, in all these bits and pieces, I'll find it in a minute. Here it is, isn't that lovely? So I'm going to pair that with the African fabric and I'm just going to enjoy sitting down and making some clusters and hope that you'd like to join me by my side. Look at him, fast asleep after our adventures in the woods. So I've put a, popped a little heart on, popped a little postage stamp and I'm going to put some words in the little mini journal too. I put inspire you and I'm simply going to sew that together. There we are. Some little stitches and I will glue these into the little mini journal and later on in the video I will show you where we're going to take this little mini journal. Unfortunately, Freddie won't be able to join us because we're going into town. But I'm sure we've worn him out enough that he won't mind too much. Cutting out another heart, the wonky heart, from painty paper. And I'm going to make a cluster with that. All wonky. Pop some of the lovely Indian sari fa fabric on. And then the little postage stamp from India. Lovely. Let's put that heart up there so it shows a bit more. Lovely, and I'll sew that together. Lovely. That's another page. I'd, I'd be doodling around there. Could do some gold around that heart. I will do that in a minute. Let's make another one. This time I think I'll use as my base this little frame. A little bit of waste from cutting out a stamp from a die cut. So let's build something up around there. Let's put some material behind it maybe. And then a little heart on it. Probably needs something at the back, doesn't it? Let's get some music paper at the back and let's see if I can find another word. There's 
a lovely word, tranquil. tranquil. That's going to make a lovely cluster. I just need to tear this paper a bit so it's not as... It's lovely to sit in other rooms just to take a little tray with you. Or, or out in the garden depending on what the weather's like. It's nice to be out and about. There's another one. And I will be drawing with gold around the heart so it shows up more. That's another one, tranquil. Let's put some stitches in that. On the tray I found a little sequin butterfly so I'm adding that too. I'm making the clusters to go in a little mini journal, a micro journal. And later on I'm going to be taking it on a little trip so I thought you might like to join me. I've also been a little tray here on the desk. I've been sitting making some more clusters. For this one I used the little bits that come off your embroidery silk. Just little scripts and scraps and I put words on too. This one I used a little ticket and I, I've sewn all these together and with a little bit of extra glue too. Oh, one, one last cluster. Do you know when you start it's, it is hard to, it's hard to stop. I get my painty paper and I'm just going to tear it like this. There we are, into that sort of shape. And I've got here from this was some tissue paper. Oh, that's probably too big. I've got a nice little little head that I've cut out there, if you can see it, from tissue paper. That dress, let's put her against dark colours so you can see her maybe. <laughs> Is that slightly too big for her? Oh, no, I'm going to keep it like that. And then I've got some, from a napkin, I've got some butterfly wings. And those are going to become her wings. I'm going to make a, a little angel here. Stick some wings on the back of her. <laughs> a little angel. I'm making a little fairy, I mean. Now the theme for clusters this week, not that you have to stick to the themes every week, but the theme this week is free choice. So I'm just making clusters with just the little bits and pieces from the desk again. I do like to make fairies though. There she is. Oh, she looks gorgeous. <laughs> now, because this is a cluster, I need to put her on something. So I'm going to... Oh, and I've got the words. Here. Fairies. I'm going to put that on her. But I need to find some paper or material to put behind her. What have I got on my desk? Ooh, here we are. Let's put, let's put some bits, let's build this up. What can I find on the desk to put behind her? Let me see. Bits of paper. <laughs> oh, let's see. Goodness me, you know when you want to find something, you can't. Bits of paper. Ah, oh, here we are. Lovely. Just, oh. Just bits of, oh, those are my words. It's an envelope. Ah, here we are. Here's a toffee paper. Oh, I'm loving that. Let's rip round that. 
Ooh, lovely. That's really nice and shiny. Oh, loving that. There we are. Here's my little fairy. That's my, I'm just going to glue her on. That's my last. Last one. Brilliant. Now then we're going to take Freddy for an, a nice walk before we nip into town with our clus little mini cluster journal. Oh look, she goes beautifully in this page. It's a great way to fill up a little mini journal. I'm here at the Turf Project, Croydon, our local community gallery. I'm very excited by this project. It's called, oh, let me just have a look at the notice, Tiny Stories Vending. Brilliant. So I put my coin in here. Where do I put my coin in? Oh, let's push it down. Oh, I can't do it. Hold oh. No. Here we are. Push it down. And then turn it round. And out pops, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Oh, dear. Oh, yes. Out pops somebody's artwork, somebody's tiny story. Let's open it. Someone said to me, put your hand on a stone for a minute and see, and it seems like an hour. That's reactivity. And that's Albert Einstein. And they've done some amazing watercolours here. That's absolutely brilliant. So now I'm going to fill this little pot with the mini journal we made earlier with the clusters. In it goes. And I've also made a little mini journal out of a playing card so somebody can write their own story as well. Or just put words in like I've done. There's our little cluster journal and little mini journal there, ready for somebody to vend. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow the links down below in the description box. You'll find Sue Hiles art there and you can follow the links in her description box to find more people that have made clusters. And if you want to make some clusters, use the hashtag and then we'll find you on social media. Bye for now.